Congressman Mike Capuano still finds time in his schedule to give back to the less fortunate, especially in the surrounding communities. Not only has he done that, he has also given back to places across the world. I never thought about being in public office. Um, what happened for me is I grew up in Somerville, like I said. Um, it was the uh, bad old days of Somerville, not the good old days. And I went away to college. And when I went away to college, little by little, um, I realized all the things that we didn't have in comparison to all the other kids that I was in school with. Um, and when I and I decided after college I wanted to move back. It was my home. I had no reason to leave. And at some point I just decided that you have two choices in life. You can just accept the way things are or you can fight. I never once played baseball on grass. Uh, there was no grass to play football on. We played on dirt. Um, didn't realize that there were playgrounds in the world that didn't have broken equipment or didn't have broken glass. Um, and again, as a child, I never really thought about it because everything was that way in my world. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I realized that there were communities nearby, not in the other side of the moon, I didn't have to go to Texas to see this, uh, I realized very quickly as I got older that they existed in the next town over. It's just an overwhelming desire to, to try to do the best I can to make the world a better place to live in. Sometimes it's just in your local neighborhood, which is where I started, and now I'm doing you know, bigger issues, but the drive is still the same. Um, I refuse to accept the way things are if they're not working well. If you really want to be in office, take a shot. It's, if, if you think there's a guarantee in life to anything, um, I wonder who told you that. There is no guarantees, there's no promises, and, and be prepared to lose. I've lost elections. Um, losing an election doesn't mean you're a bad person. It, uh, I mean, maybe it does if that's what you want it to mean, but it just means that either you didn't get your message out to enough people or you're just not in sync with the people that are, that are going out to vote, which is okay. I don't always want to be in sync with um, the, the crowd. Sometimes it's good to be out of sync, um, and sometimes it's not and you have to make that judgment on your own. But I also really think people need to understand that you can influence life quite a bit without ever running for public office. That's been the, the route that I have chosen. No reason, just kind of did. Uh, but I'll tell you that in, uh, now that i am been around a while, I, I can tell you there's an awful lot of people that influence and change the world as much or more than I have ever done uh, without ever having run for public office. Um, little league coaches, uh, people who work with the handicapped, anybody who just decides that uh, giving of themselves beyond what's good for them, taking money, and we all need money, we all need to make, make a living, but anybody who decides to give of themselves, you can really change this world if you really want to do it. Um, if you want to just sit back and complain, that's fine. And, and if that's all that you really want to do, you really shouldn't run for office. Um, people in public office should be optimists. They should be the kind of people that think that if you try hard enough, you can make the world a better place. Um, they should be the kind of people that also understand you're not going to win every battle. Uh, you won't even win most of them. Uh, you'll have to compromise quite a bit because no individual is anointed with all the answers. I don't think I am. Um, I have some answers. I have some opinions. I'm willing to fight for them. Uh, at the same time, I also understand that if I can get half the way to where I want to go, that's better than we are now. Whenever my time comes that I'm uh, capable and strong enough to look in the mirror and say, that's enough. Um, it's not here yet, and I don't see it coming in the near future, but yeah. you never know. Oh, that's it. Thank you for your time.